everyone, my name is Katherine Fox. I'm a digital artist and animation student. I can't remember a time where I wasn't drawing, so for me it's a way of processing and translating what I see and what I want to see. It's also a skill that I'm working to improve. I'm fortunate to be able to get a degree and be professionally involved in my passion, as well as to have the support that I've had, so it's also a way for me to show my appreciation to the people who've supported me throughout my life. It's also a tool to strengthen your relationship with the world through observation as well. Taking the time to study your surroundings from a reference or life helps you notice the small moments that might have been missed otherwise. Then you can filter them through your art into your own interpretation of life. Ultimately, like any skill, it's rewarding to see results from experience, and with art you can physically see improvement, so it's very motivating to be the best you can be once you're seeing results. So, my art speaks to me because it's a result of my time and effort, as well as the support of people I love. I'm studying 3D animation at SCAD, and I hope to work in the game industry. But, I also create digital illustrations. I'm planning to open an online shop soon, which will be announced on my Instagram and my TikTok. Let's dive a little into the creation process of my last commission. This project was very meaningful. My client lost a child and wanted a portrait of her at three. To create a reference photo, we merged pictures of the siblings at three as well as a photo of the parent. When painting, I referenced a 3D ultrasound image. I started with the most shared features from the reference photos, and then I outlined all basic shapes and chose colors. The top of the dress needed a pattern to be created, so I had to draw some flowers and rotate them until it fit. The best tool I've had so far is flipping the canvas horizontal because it's helped me narrow down on what needs depth and attention. I created a color map to roughly know where to place details, made a document in the right size and resolution, and began drawing the items individually for the garden. Once that was finished, I created some layers on top to add shadows and clean some areas up. I blurred a few background objects as well to create depth, painted the sunrise, and textured the dirt. The last touches were the little garden snail and the tire swing. Ultimately, I loved working on this project and being able to share it with you all. 
I appreciate Hunter Memorial Mural for extending this opportunity to me, and I'm glad to share the message of One World, One Voice, the Art of Being Kind.